and out, man. Everybody's screaming, HD, 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 HD. How does that feel? What's the rush like for you? Man. At that moment, when you were hearing those chants. That shit is like, it's indescribable, bro. I tune some of it out, but I can hear it. And it just, you know, it's fuel to the fire. Like, the fire in my chest just get bigger and bigger. And it's like, so I step in this ring, that bitch finna come out and I'm finna show them, like, you know, y'all came here for a reason. If I can't let my people down, I can't let my city down, I can't let my family down, nor my kids, I can't let myself down. So I was put here for a reason. I went through a lot of trials and tribulations. But in the, the day, I feel like it molded me into a man that can endure anything. I was a coach at a police athletic league in Davie, and Howard came to the gym with other fighters that I was training, Bryce and Bobby. There's only two types of fighters. There's the Olympians, and there's the kid from the street. There's no in between. He started working out with us. I seen he had a little bit of talent. So when he came to me, he was very like you know rough around the edges style-wise. He's very aggressive. He fought pretty much all his amateur career with me as his coach. We won a few belts in the amateurs. You know, I mean, I saw that Howard was a young dad. Like, we pretty much have kids the same age. He had wanted to speak to me for some time, seeing me on social media uh, for like, I want to say it was like probably four or five years prior to our first encounter. And then I seen he was on a flyer for a party. I purposely showed up just because I knew the whole backstory of him wanting to talk to me and stuff. So I'm like, let me just see what he's about. So, you know, we met and that was it. So let's take it back to that day that you guys had this beautiful little girl. So what was that experience like? That experience is something that, honestly, I would relive over and over again if I had to. You know, it really showed me, and it's shown Howard so much, and I think that speaks for itself. Just, he goes above and beyond. When he steps in that ring, it's for them too. You know, he puts life on the line just to make money out of this to then provide for them. It's not something that he takes lightly. Boy, he didn't grow up with his father. He had kids at a very early age. I mean, he had to go ahead and take on a whole different type of responsibility. Before he was fighting, doing his boxing, he wanted to really go ahead and pursue his football career. He was really good, too. He could have did it. I seen that go down the drain. He had his son. We had to go ahead and put that to the side. Then not shortly after that, he had another. So it's like, you know, where am I going to go ahead and find any time to pursue this career right now, right here? And if it doesn't go anywhere, it's like I, I wasted my time. Before I was born, my dad got killed. Actually doing what I do now, fighting. <laughs> I never really had no real good role model. I really had to be my own man. I had one coach, she passed away this year. He um, definitely instilled this belief in me. I came in there, I was just a raw talent, you know, I had the power. And he was like, bruh, boy, you know, you, you, can, you can be something, you can be a professional. You know, you started late, you all the odds against you, but it's just something about you. One thing about it, if the shit I went through in my life can't hold me down, a man knocking me down will never hold me down. I could have quit a long time ago, I could have quit this boxing shit when it wasn't working. I could have quit my relationship with my girl when it wasn't working. I could have quit on my kids and myself. I'm just not that type of person. So if I'm down on the ground, no matter how hard I get hit, I will get back up. You could say you want this, you could want that, but if you don't want it, I can't make it happen for you. You need to want it. There's no limits to what he could do in this because, you know, fighting is one aspect of everything. And he's like a total package when it comes to that. He's good at marketing, he's good at people's skills. He's definitely gonna be, a, I would say in the next year, he'd be a world champion in bare knuckle. Make this money, take care of his family, you know, support his people, that's all he wants to do. Anybody that you know he can go ahead and help, he'll do it. We know how it feels to not have nobody have your back. I love you. Our ups and downs and even your downs you know what you go through behind closed doors it's gonna be worth it I tell you all the time God's not done with you yet and that in itself is so powerful because so many people have given up on themselves you know and even having children as a motivation to keep going to be alive in in their heart and in their spirit 
I just know one day something's gonna be awakened within you to really understand the power that you hold for your kids, for me, for your family, and for generations to come that are watching you.